Patch 4.6 has dropped and Shade has gotten a lot of changes. Personally, I think they have pointed her in a very good direction, much better than what she was, and I have a build that I think will back it up. But first, let's talk about her. Her passive ability, Assassin's Blade, now it deals double damage when attacking enemies from behind with melee attacks. Her career skill, Infiltrate, Carillion becomes undetectable, gains bonus damage, and can pass through enemies, lasts for 5 seconds or until she attacks. So far not so crazy, but here's where it gets a little different. She's got three perks now. The first one, Dagger in the Dark. Melee attacks from stealth are always critical. The second, Blur, parrying an attack and quickly dodging grants Curlian stealth for a short period. This is the one that I think has some people up in arms. They don't like that they have to parry and then dodge. In my opinion, I don't really get the hate. I think this is an incredibly useful mechanic that comes in handy when you need it most. I don't find myself using this a lot, but it always seems to come in handy and bail me out when I run out of stamina, because all you have to do is time a block and then dodge backwards. And you have, number one, a couple seconds of invisibility, and also a free crit. This leads me into the third perk, Murderous Prowess. Charged critical backstabs instantly slay man-sized enemies. Personally, I think these three perks make her a lot more fun than what she used to be. Now make no bones about it, this is a total monster killing build. But for that, I'm recommending three weapons. The dual daggers, the one-handed sword, and the sword and dagger. Her best three monster killing weapons. And for that, you're gonna want Kane's Thirst. Melee killing blows restore temp health based off the health of the enemy slain. I just want to quickly go over this change to Exquisite Huntress. They increase the duration from 5 to 10 seconds for the stacking headshot damage. I think that's excellent, and I think this is an excellent talent. However, since we're trying to maximize monster damage, we are going to be taking Cruelty, which increases the critical strike damage bonus by 50%. On her level 15 line, Assassin is her best option for this kind of build. She gets 40% bonus damage on headshots and critical strikes. This is going to allow us to stack as much damage as possible and murder things. On the level 20 line, we're going with the talent Chain Killer. This is a new one. Successive charged backstabs increase backstab damage by 25% for 5 seconds. This effect can stack up to 2 times. So we have 3 talents in a row that are simply dedicated to doing damage from behind or on crit. Also one thing I do want to point out in regards to Chain Killer that I don't think is intentional with the game, but if you're using the Elven Spear on Shade, those first two light attacks, if you do them from behind, they proc Chain Killer. For some reason, they count as heavy attacks or, or charged backstabs, I guess you could say. Don't think it's intentional, but kind of funny. Try it out. On the level 25 line, Spring Healed Assassin makes the most sense for this kind of build. Critical hits give you 20% movement speed for 5 seconds. This is going to let her position herself a little bit more easily. If she happens to diagro a monster or an elite or something, she can attack and get back to it. And the rework changed her ults a bit. We got Shimmer Strike, which is this new fancy thing. We got Hungry Wind, which is new and interesting. But the one thing they kind of didn't mention in the dev blog was the change to Cloak of Pain. That's right. When Infiltrate ends, a second and final Infiltrate is triggered. This is a fantastic change that I absolutely love. She essentially gets two ults in one. Say you have the dual daggers and you creep up behind a monster. You ult. You attack it, you do monstrous damage. Are you instantly revealed? No, you still have invisibility. And guess what? You can attack again for more monstrous damage, but with the right weapons and setup, you can pretty much nuke and take away half a Cata monster's health in a matter of seconds. And with this build, the cooldown will be just over a minute. So you can run Concoction and get it again for four ults and potentially up to 20 total seconds of invisibility. Cloak of Pain is incredibly powerful now. If you didn't love it before, you better love it now because it's amazing. Talent-wise, we have set ourselves up as good as we possibly can. But let's go to the equipment. The dual daggers are Shade's best monster-killing weapon, so if you're looking to do maximum damage, you're probably going to want to go with these. They do tons of damage, but the drawback is they have short reach and low stamina. Personally, I run block cost reduction, cliff slaying, and crit power. And I know, I know what people think about crit power, but I look at it as a little bit of extra damage 
to anything. Even if it's just a small amount, why not take it? Another thing you can run that would be good would be stamina here. The choice is yours. Now the Moonbow has also been nerfed pretty significantly, and I'm still kind of getting used to it. So for now, I'm going to say take the Longbow with Conservative Shooter. The Longbow with no additional properties on it at all can one-shot headshot any special at what is considered to be close range. So you can slap crit chance on there if you want. I just have infantry and armored because I think that's what was on it when I pulled it out of the chest. You're going for those close-up special breakpoints, which it naturally already has. On the necklace, I choose to run extra stamina and 30% block cost reduction. Extra stamina because the daggers have two base stamina. This will give me three, which is going to help us out defensively a little bit. 60% block cost reduction so I don't die like a little squish ball. And natural bond. Now the reason I'm using natural bond is because I'll only have 100 health. Bark skin is not going to help us much when we have 100 health. It would really only help us in the rare instance that we get assassined or have to deal with like a gun rat or a fire rat or something. That's pretty much it. Bunishalia could be used. However, you have Tempo on kill, which is a lot more inconsistent than say something like Cleaver Stagger. Natural Bond allows you to take one hit, get kind of low, make some of that back, you know, maybe take another hit, which if you had anything else, you probably would have died for, but maybe that combined with your temp health could save you. However, I will stress that if you're going to run Natural Bond, do not use healing unless it's absolutely necessary, meaning when you're wounded. If you take Natural Bond, your team is going to expect that you are going to let them have the healing, not that you're going to drink it all. So if you're using a lot of healing and you know that you use a lot of healing in your playstyle, run Barkskin, or run Bonashalia, or run the dupe chance. For the charm, I just go with Power vs. Chaos, 5% attack speed, and Concoction. Chaos because Chaos covers a lot of enemies, the Chaos Faction, Basemen, the dangerous stuff, attack speed because why not make the weapon faster. And then Concoction is actually pretty important. Any type of potion will grant you a quick burst of cooldown, speed, and strength. Concoction takes a minute off your cooldown, and with this setup, your cooldown is going to be 103, so you won't have to wait very long to get your ult back. And then for the trinket, personally, I run cooldown reduction, crit chance, and grenadier. You can replace that crit chance with stamina recovery or movement speed if you like. Grenadier, I think, is fun when it comes through, but shrapnel is probably a more practical choice. So this is my current build that I am loving from the new shade. It is Pretty easy to use. It's a high damage, monster killing, and elite killing build that has some survivability and mobility to it. Now there's a lot more to cover here, so I will be making other builds in due time of Shade, but for now, this is what I've got, and I find this one quite fun. If you guys like this video, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment. I also have a Twitch and a Discord. Links to those will be in the description down below. Take care.